The greatest success story in space travel has a name, and it is not James Webb. No, because the two Voyager probes have been flying for 47 years through the vast expanses of space, providing us with new information about unknown cosmic worlds. As humanity's most distant outposts, the twin probes have ventured into interstellar space, revealing that the regions at the edge of our solar system are far stranger than we thought. But how can we explain the strange differences the probes recorded at the edges of our solar system? And what about the gigantic and mysterious wrinkled structures hidden in the heliosphere? Looking back, 1977 seems almost like another world. That was the year Jimmy Carter became president of the United States, the last time the guillotine was used for an execution in France, and the year Rocky won three Oscars. But, as we know, another event in 1977 transcended time, the launch of NASA's two Voyager probes. The first probe to leave Earth was Voyager 2, launched on August 20, 1977, to explore the largely uncharted outer regions of our planetary system. Voyager 1 followed 16 days later on a different trajectory. At the time, no one could have guessed that this was the start of the longest mission in modern space travel. Initially, the program didn't aim for Voyager 1 and 2 to reach the incredible distances of 24.63 and 20.59 billion kilometers from the Sun, respectively. The goal was to gather information about the outer planets. However, the mission... Today, we live in an era where the James Webb Telescope provides unprecedented details about our planetary neighbors. But nearly 50 years ago, things were very different. At the time of the Voyager's launch, our understanding of distant planets was extremely limited. The first targets of exploration were the systems of Jupiter and Saturn. Soon, Earth-based experts were enriched with detailed measurements and numerous images. This revolutionized our understanding of the gas giant and the iconic ringed planet. While Voyager 1 headed toward interstellar space, Voyager 2 had more exciting milestones ahead. After a corrective maneuver in the spring of 1981, it set course for Uranus, arriving on January 24, 1986. By this time, Voyager 2 had already exceeded its original lifespan twice over. Defying expectations, it not only observed Uranus up close, but discovered ten previously unknown moons. Its next target was Neptune, the mission's supposed final chapter. There were no plans for further destinations, so the 9000-plus photos of Neptune captured by Voyager 2 were considered a visual farewell. Yet, the probe didn't just photograph its surroundings. It also added nine unknown satellites to star maps. One of its most notable discoveries was Triton, Neptune's largest known moon. Voyager 2 revealed its true diameter of 2,760 kilometers, much smaller than the previously estimated 5,000 kilometers. It also found Triton's white-brownish surface surprisingly free of impact sites and identified numerous inactive geysers spewing liquid nitrogen. Entering Interstellar Space Voyager's next milestone, the entry into interstellar space, occurred in 2012 with Voyager 1, followed by Voyager 2 in November 2018. This faraway region, beyond the Sun's powerful reach, is filled with interstellar medium, composed of ionized dust, gas, and atomic particles, as well as galactic magnetic fields and electromagnetic radiation. The probes, traveling in different regions, allowed experts to compare interstellar media measurements from two locations. Voyager 2 confirmed many of Voyager 1's findings, such as particle density. However, it also uncovered unexpected differences, raising new questions. For instance, Voyager 1 detected compact interstellar particle clumps, while Voyager 2 found a 150 million kilometer long flow of particles near the heliopause. Additionally, Voyager 2's functioning plasma instrument revealed that beyond the heliopause, interstellar medium temperatures reached nearly 30,000 degrees Celsius, far hotter than scientists predicted. One of the most astonishing findings involves the heliosphere itself. Data revealed that the heliosphere, a solar wind bubble, is far more dynamic than previously thought, constantly expanding, contracting, and reshaping. Massive folds in the heliopause extend tens of astronomical units into space. These wrinkles, shaped by high-energy particles, represent an ever-changing boundary between the Sun's domain and interstellar space. 
Despite their advanced age, the Voyager probes are too fast to be recaptured by the heliosphere. They continue their groundbreaking journey, offering humanity a wealth of data as they push the limits of exploration. If you find these incredible achievements fascinating, don't hesitate to hit the like button and subscribe for more captivating stories. See you in the next video.